Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So first off, if you guys would like to see this makeup look, I just filmed it. It is my natural makeup look. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how I did this liner and then kind of like the face makeup. But today's video is going to be a full makeup collection. I will be diving deep into each of my drawers and showing you guys like the brands and the products I have and just showing you guys my makeup collection. I asked on my Instagram story if you guys would be interested in seeing this and I got 100% yes. So here it is. I am doing it for you. So I am actually going to move my camera, move my setup, get it situated, and we'll hop right into this. Okay, so y'all can't really see me right now, but I'm trying to get a good angle on this. Hello. Um, but we're gonna tilt and zoom. This is basically like one of my main setups. This is where the majority of my makeup stays. Um, so this is the most like messiest and this is probably gonna take me the longest in this video. And don't mind my computer right here, but I can't really like take it out of the the screen so up here I've just got a few things that like I just like to show this is the storybook palette it's super cool I got it in my box charm so I just leave it up there I've got my setting sprays here and then I have my Too Faced um little highlight diamond thing I just keep it up here because it's super cute and then I've got this little thing with a sponge in it usually I leave my sponges here to dry like after I do my makeup so I'm gonna zoom you guys in to the top portion here and we're gonna start here so in this top drawer these at least I can pull out and show you I've got some powders I don't really use these but this is the um, this is like a special um, Jerome Alexander powder I don't know and then I've got the Maybelline master effects one and then this bare minerals pressed powder I don't use those quite often that's why they're up there this is the drawer that I use the most. This is like a little sample of the Kat Von D powder. I've got both of my AOA Perfect Setting powders and then my Becca Hydra Mist powder. This has got a bunch of like random eye stuff in it. So I've got like all my single shadows. I've got some lash glue. I've got um, eyeshadow primer. I've got a liquid shadow. I don't really use that that often either. This is all of like eyebrow pencils and eyeliners and liquid liners and like a lip primer and like colored liners. I just keep them all in here. This is another random one. I've got like some lipstick samples. I have a, um, this is like a eyeliner and then I've got my brow pomade. I just keep them in there because I don't really have anything to go in there and those are kind of like weirdly shaped or something like that so I just put them there. Now we're starting my highlight drawers. These are some of the biggest um, drawers because I have a lot of highlights. So I've got Sleek. I love this one. I've got all my AOA Studio ones. You guys will see a lot of those in here. I've got a little Ciate. I've got Makeup Revolution, Wet n Wild, Physicians Formula. Fenty, and then I've got like a little AOA Studio one. So this is the first drawer. And then here's my second drawer. This is what it looks like. I've got more AOA Studio ones. You guys know me. Um, I've got Makeup Revolution again, Artist Couture, Ofra. I've got my Omrezi one. I've got my Becca one. I've got a lot of highlights. I love highlights. These are like some of my favorites, so I definitely have way too many of them for one person. So we're moving into these little drawers here. So we'll start with this one. This is like my mascara, and I've got like a little eyeshadow that should probably go up in the other drawer, but most of these are mascaras, and um, yeah, and then I've got like my Stila liquid shadow in here. This is lip liners. I don't have that many. I really need to get more, but... These are just my liners. I keep them in here. They fit perfectly in this little container. Then I've got concealers. These are all the concealers I have right now. I feel like usually I have more than that, um, but I'm just trying to get through these. But I've got this. This is the um, Philosophy, AOA Studio, ELF, Fenty, and Wet n Wild. These are just two philosophy products that just really won't fit anywhere else in my collection. So this is the primer and then this is a foundation. 
Next, I've got mostly bronzers. Um, so I've got this palette on the top. I use this like every day now. I just filmed with this. And then I've got my bronzers. So I've got Too Faced, we've got Hoola, I've got um, Pretty Vulgar, obviously Physician's Formula. I got Fiona Styles, and then I have this e.l.f. palette, I have the Wet n Wild contour palette, I have an AOA Studio contour stick, and then randomly I've just got a foundation in here, it's another philosophy one that just won't fit inside of my foundation drawer. Alright, next we've got my foundations and primers. So Fenty Primer, Cover Effects, Dr. Brandt, No Pore Bloom by Touch and Soul. I've got the Huda Beauty Foundation, Maybelline Superstay, and my AOA Studio one. So this is basically the main drawer. I really like these because they're super thick. As you see, they fit everything in here, including the Huda Beauty one, which is really, really good because that's like a larger foundation. All right, last but not least on this side is basically just some palettes. So I've got some smaller palettes in this one. Um, you will see my setup for my palettes is just super weird. Like, I don't know exactly how to store them. So this is how they are right now, but... I've got the Laura Lee one, I've got an Ace Beauty, My Little Pony, Olimar Cosmetics, this is an IBY uh, highlight and contour kit, I actually forgot this was in here low key, and then I've got the Pure Festival palette, so those are just in there, I don't really use them that often, I'll be honest, it's kind of why they're in there. So yeah, alright, so this is basically, that was it for this portion. Um, I, you, like I said, this is the majority of my makeup, so I'll move over to this side. It's just going to be lip products and basically eyeshadows, so we're going to move on to that side. Alright, so this is the other side of my makeup collection. Um, up here I've got my larger palettes, so I have my Jaclyn Hill, I have my Amazon Colorful one, and then I've got two Morphe palettes back here. So I just have them in like a little file organizer on top of this. And in here, let's zoom you guys in slightly. In here, I basically just have palettes. Um, like I said, this is my weird palette organization. I've got, okay. I've got the Violet Voss Essentials palette. I've got the Riviera palette. And I've got the Misunderstood uh, Villains palette by ColourPop. I just keep those in here. Next drawer, we've got the Master palette by Mario and Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics. Last drawer for palettes, I've got the two for two. This is a uh, blush and bronzer duo. I've got the Soph X Revolution and then the Alomar Cosmetics palette. So I just keep these in here. Next is my sponge drawer, which I know is really weird, but I just I just have like uh, beauty blenders and stuff in here. I don't really have a good place for them, so that's where they are. And this is my random drawer. I've got like lashes, lashes, a curler, and then some... Um, tweezers so that's basically that and then my brushes are right here you guys have seen these um before i just keep them all in this i just keep them all in this little um container thing i want to get a better situation for it but for now this is where they are oh no oh my god i'm forgetting something hold on all right last but not least i've got my lipstick collection so this is probably the biggest besides my um highlighters but so I've got like Fenty, Fenty, we've got the Superstay Maybelline, I've got a Dominique's Cosmetic, I've got Liquid Cat Suit, Joseph Colors, Ofra, and then up here I've got um, Burberry, Kylie, NYX, Galactic, we've got Urban Decay, more Fenty. Most of these down here, like pretty much every single one of these right here except that one. These are all the AOA Studio ones, um, plus that one. And then I've got the Bite Beauty lipsticks up here. So that is basically my lipstick collection. It is quite a lot. Some of them are missing because I had to keep them in bags and stuff, but that is that. So basically, that is it for this video. Um, that was my full makeup collection. I know I don't have as much as a lot of people, but I know I have a lot more than a lot of people. And me a few years ago would be so proud of myself for having the collection that I have and letting it grow this much. So um, I have obviously gotten rid of makeup throughout the years and done like a clean out and everything. So this is like my real like collection. This is stuff that I use all the time and that I will always use. 
and yeah so I'm still obviously working on it I'm forever growing it and I'm trying to figure out like a good setup for my palettes so if you guys know of a good way to store your palettes um, let me know down below a lot of them are like smaller palettes they're just awkwardly shaped so if you guys have any ideas comment them down below and I will definitely look into them um but yeah so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did as always give it a thumbs up make sure you all subscribe before you leave and i would just catch you guys in my next video bye